Hi guys, my name again is Anna and welcome to Cake and Bake. And for today's video, I will be sharing with you how I decorated this 007 inspired cake. I started out by layering the frosting on my cake. Each layer gets a decent amount. This is a red velvet with buttercream frosting. I make sure that each frosting is leveled so that my cake is leveled as well. I am now doing my crumb coating here where I want to make sure that all the crumbs will be trapped on the cake so that later on when we put in our fondant we won't have any crumbs all over the place. And after that I will be putting this in the fridge for 10 to 15 minutes to set. Once it has set I will be putting my final coating of the frosting and making sure that again everything is leveled and covered properly. Now I am getting my fondant ready. I have put some cornstarch on my work area here on my space so that my fondant won't stick on my counter. I am making sure that there aren't any air bubbles. Afterwards, once that's done, I'm starting to cover my cake using my fondant smoother and of course my hands. I try to push it down very slowly and smooth it with my hands. You want to be careful because you want to you don't want the fondant to rip. When that happens, you have to start all over again. I still remember when I started doing this before. I all the time rip off my fondant and I have to start all over again. And yeah, that's not fun. <laughs> then of course, I use my fondant smoother to smooth it out and cutting the extra fondant from below. And once that's done, I will be using two fondant smoother to uh, make sure that the top of my cake has a um, crisp or a nice edge. Uh, before some of the cakes, uh, back then, they always have this rounded top, but nowadays the trend is we want a, um, a very, um, not very, but a sharp uh, top edge. And here I am also putting some fondant on the base of my cake. This is called the toilet method because I don't want to waste too much fondant because underneath that is cake. So yeah, I just put in um, some fondant on the outer part of my uh, board. Here I have rolled out a white fondant and I will be uh, making the color for the uh, tuxedo of the cake. I am trying to measure, uh, I've made two inches for the, um, for the collar. Using my ruler, making sure that everything is straight and my X-Acto knife to cut off that sharp uh, looking, and looking edges. And here I am just trying it out, seeing how it will look on top of my cake and after that I'm gonna set it aside to dry or harden. Moving on, again using the same white fondant, I am just cutting a triangle which I will be putting in the middle front of my cake which will serve as the front or like the, um, the polo shirt inside the tux because that's what I want to create here. It's like as if there was a shirt inside and then the, the coat from outside. And now I am cutting a ribbon-like um, you know the tassel underneath ribbon so it kind of looks like that just to um, imitate an effect that there's like the color on the coat once I was done cutting all of those strips for my uh, tuxedo I have here some water and my paintbrush. Using the water, I use it to uh, stick all of those strips that I've cut out earlier.
Now I am making a bow tie for my tuxedo here. I am using the same black fondant and shaping it into um, a ribbon. I will be using my X-Acto knife to cut both ends of that ribbon-like um, structure that I made just to get um, a, a sharp edge on each end. Once that's done, I'm using the same black fondant and I will be cutting a thin strip. Uh, I will be wrapping that around the middle of the fondant. Once that's done, I'm using here my modeling tool just to put some indention in front of the ribbon just to imitate a, um, a ribbon or a bow tie. <laughs> and after that, I will be getting some toothpick and I will be sticking that on the cake along with my bow or the ribbon. I will be using that as a support for the bow tie so that it will not fall down from the cake or fall off from the cake. And moving on, using my brush here, my paintbrush, I did some uh, indentions, like round indentions at the uh, below the uh, bow tie, to imitate like a, a button. And I used my um, pen here, my edible pen, to mark it so that it's color black and it matches the whole theme of the tuxedo. Now I have here a gray fondant and I am just trying to smooth it and flatten it and make it as long as much as I can. I will be uh, putting that later on, on the, as a border of my cake. Using my ruler, I'm trying to get a straight, a straight line or straight cut on that fondant. Once I was done, I apply some water at the bottom of the cake so that my ribbon, or I mean the strip that I cut earlier, will stick on the edge of the cake. And as you can see, I rolled it into a circle so that it's easy to um, apply on my cake later on. And slowly I'm pushing it and sticking it on the edge of the cake. Here, as you can see, the uh, color that we did earlier has already hardened and dried. I'm just applying a tad bit of water at the bottom of it, and then I will be putting it on top of the cake, making sure that it's centered properly, and looking at it and seeing if everything looks perfect and fine. Once all of those uh, design has been put in place, my favorite part as always guys is painting. I have here a silver luster dust. I am painting it, in, I'm painting it on the bottom of the cake uh, on the border that we did earlier. Um, it just creates a, a very nice look on the cake, a little shimmer. So um, those luster dust, um, I just add in some vanilla extract, like a clear vanilla extract to liquefy it. And it smells really good. I never really tried tasting luster dust, but just so you know, it's edible. <laughs> and moving on with some yellow fondant, I have printed out uh, the number 40, which is the age of the celebrant, and also the logo in um, the 007. So instead of 007 with a gun, I'm putting 40 and then the gun. And using my modeling tool here, I am just um, putting those indentions just so I have a guide where to cut using my X-Acto knife. And as you can see here, I am carefully cutting it so that I can get that shape from the template that I did earlier or printed out earlier.
moving on to the the gun well um same process as I did with the number 40. I uh, used my modeling tool and then my X-Acto knife. Just so you know guys, I had such a difficult time cutting that because it was so delicate, it was so thin, so it was so hard to cut. It was even harder to put on the cake. And same process, I have here my water and paintbrush, putting some tad bit of water at the back of that to stick on my cake and making sure that it was all centered and put in there properly. And you will see me, I will be having a little bit of struggle putting in those gun, I mean the part of that gun on the cake because it kept on moving on me, but nevertheless it worked out okay. <laughs> Now, in this cake, uh, the customer or my client requested to um, put a uh, happy birthday greeting with the um, uh, Urdu. It's a language called Urdu. Um, I'm not familiar with that. Um, those who know what it is, maybe you can write down or comment down below to help me out figure it out. But just so you know, I love the lettering of that language. It was just, it was. It was scary. I got so scared on how I was going to do it. But so what I did, I went to Google and translated the word, uh, the happy birthday greeting to Urdu and printed it out and um, tried to copy it uh, and put it on the border of the cake. So as you can see, I am trying to paint it now on the border. I use, I started with the white food coloring because since my base or my board is black, it uh, the gold won't show immediately I need to have a, a bright base first before I put in my gold so I started out with white and let it dry first once it's dried I am now putting in my gold uh, my gold paint so it's the same it's the gold luster dust that I put in with some vanilla or clear vanilla extract so this cake is almost done guys and again as always i always have fun making cakes and i enjoy it and here you will see um that it was a very i would say it was an intricate cake not because of the de designs or the decoration but it was because of the greeting the urdu happy birthday greeting but then again it was a great experience it was fun and i will do it all over again And here is the final cake guys again thank you so much for joining me today and watching my new video of the 007 cake again don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and if you guys have questions suggestions comments always uh, write it down below you can also follow me in my Instagram uh, which is anacorpus19 and I also have my Facebook page and again till next time thank you so much you guys have a great day